you. All right. I just got Arden's whole weekend here in a matter of uh, weather forecast. Don't worry. It wasn't that <laughs> okay, we won't go there. But just listen, singing, singing. If you're like bah humbug on this weather, how about curling up to a good book? Absolutely. And you've got three great reads for I us. I do have three great reads. I brought in some new nonfiction, mm -hmm. actually. So the first one is The Residence. It's inside the private world of the White House, which is uh -huh. so fitting for right now as we look into our next person coming into the White House. It starts in the Kennedy era and goes all the way to the Clintons. Yeah. And it's all those people behind the scenes who make their lives happen and make them better. And the, so you get all sorts of interesting stories. Real behind the scenes. Real behind stories. actual residents yeah. that were interviewed for this book. That so Shonda Rhimes no longer has the, <laughs> the pinpoint from Scandal. She no longer knows everything in the White House. I love this book. It's yeah. really interesting. Okay. The next one is a photo essay book. So there, it do, there does have writing in it, obviously, stories, but it's stories of where some of our most favorite Carolina writers, where they write in their homes. So a lot of people are always interested, like, what does a creative process look like? And I actually found my favorite room. I failed oh, to look at the one? author. My favorite room, because oh, this is that. what writing looks like for me. A cat staring at me the <laughs> entire time. That is what writing looks like for um, so many writers. So your cat is twice as big as that. He's on a diet, I promise. He's on a diet? Okay, I was going to um, say. Yeah, I was, I've I was, seen I was, Facebook I, pictures of you. I was actually writing this morning, and he got in my lap. So that's what writing looks like for so many people. I love this. Clyde Edgerton. It's just We've real, got, though. People can it is real. To you can go and look at it. The last one. Okay, so this is just really interesting. These are letters that two writers wrote to each other. Meanwhile, in the letters, Eudora Welty and Yo Ross McDonald. And it's just letters they wrote to each other throughout their careers and how they helped each other through the creative writing process. I just have a firm belief that all writers need someone else to bounce ideas off. Sure. Creative people need another creative sure. person in their life. So they were never in a romantic relationship. They were held up by different things, mm -hmm. but I just find reading these letters I'm so nosy as well, which is what all these <laughs> books are, Nosy Rosie. Don't we all have a little um, bit of nosy in our system? Great local books, great books for the nonfiction people yeah. out there. Good choices. Thanks. I like those. Thank Perfect you. Perfect for this rainy weather. They yeah. are. Oh, my God. Oh, all right. Thank you, Arden. You're welcome. We'll be back after this break with a final look at your forecast.